<laughs> Hello, welcome to Octopus Do. I'm Christian Ross, and today we're going to work on a throwback project. Hi, if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification button if you want to know when new projects come out. So I said we're doing a throwback project today. What I'm doing is playing with childhood favorite of mine, safety pins. Check this out. I love how this turned out. So I made some stretchy bracelets here using our old favorite safety pin and seed beads on that. It's a lot of fun. This one has double the safety pins as this one because I've used beads to space this out. But uh, really, I like the look. It's really cool. It's very metal. And uh, I remember making these when I was a kid. We used to put these on everything. Tennis shoes, our jackets, um, all of that. So let me give you an idea of how this goes together. First of all, I'm using small safety pins. They are one inch in length, just like that, as opposed to the, the larger industrial ones. But these are about one inch in length and these will fit eight, size eight seed beads on them if that's the size you want to use. They will fit a size 11 or even a size 15 on the seed beads. Those are the teeny, teeny, tiny ones, but um, not quite going that small. I like the big colorful look here. Now, taking my safety pin and I have an open side and I'm going to use this and pick up um, eight seed beads. So I'll come over here and I'm just going to Say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And when I use eight, let's see, grab my tweezers here so I can show you. If I use eight, I still have enough room on the pin to close it, just like that. And really, that's all of the skill it takes. You just have to add your seed beads and then decide the pattern that you want to use. Now, if I wanted a really dense, very metallic look like I have on this bracelet, what I did is I string all of my safety pins on here, but in between each one that has seed beads, I turn one backwards and the opposite direction. See if I can spread that out so you can see. And then I'll show you what that pattern looks like. So basically, oh, I didn't go over the stringing material. I'm using Elasticity, which is from Beadalon, which is a great stretch cord. And I'm using the largest size that will fit through my bead hole, which is one millimeter wide. To keep everything from falling off the end of my elasticity, I'm using a beetle on bead stopper, which is this little spring. And you depress the spring and you stick the end of your cord into it. And you squeeze that. that's going to keep my beads from coming off the end. Now, that really dense pattern that we were talking about, I'll take my safety pin with the seed beads on it and my elasticity, and I string the elasticity through that bottom spring of my safety pin, just like so, and let that slide down. And then I have to put one on backwards. So, this time I have a safety pin that has nothing on it and I'm using that top and string that on. Like so. <laughs> so the next one I put on, of course, is the one with seed beads and I go through that eye like so, and then I put an empty one backwards, like that. I string one on that has 
the seed beads and then an empty one. And I keep doing that. I'll string a few more so you can see what I'm talking about. So that one and backwards and one with beads and one without and one with beads. All right. So that's looking pretty good. So I would continue this until I get the length that I'd like for my bracelet and then I would tie the end. So another look that you can use is one that has a bead in between each pin and that spaces your safety pins out and gives it more of a beaded look instead of all of that metal. I was able to use uh, some great Czech glass cathedral beads, which are some of my favorites, some seed beads and then some metal beads. And all I did is just varied the design that I wanted for each one and put metal bead in between and that went all the way around like so and I'll tell you what the design is on those half of the pins the pattern is a size 11 silver seed bead two size 8 blue seed beads a six millimeter round metal bead two size eight blue seed beads and an 11 silver bead. The other design, the other pin design I used was a size 11 silver seed bead, a size eight blue, a size 11 silver, my cathedral bead, a silver in size 11, a blue in size eight and a silver in my 11 and I'll write all of this in the description below so you can have that uh, to go by if you like. So when I stacked these together I alternated which side went up. So basically my cathedral bead looked like that going up but then this one went down. So let's look at both of those together. Now, when I strung those, I put a size eight metal bead in between. Now I'm going to string one of these for you and um, show you how to tie this off and that's really all it takes. started stringing these is that with your elasticity you want to pre-stretch that. I can go ahead and stretch this even though I've strung these beads on because I haven't tied it off yet but something you always want to do is to remember to stretch out your elastic cord before you tie everything off because it will loosen up a little bit with wear and by pre-stretching it then you get rid of a lot of that um, slack ahead of time. I'll move my empty safety pins out of the way and lay this back down on my bead mat. 
then string the other side. strung and since I started with a safety pin on this side and I ended with just my rose quartz beads on this side so that when I tie this uh, it'll be a continuous circle. So let me show you how to tie elasticity or at least how I do it. So I took my little stopper off of one side and I put it on the end of the bottom row so that now I'm going to be tying the top row and these are not going to, all my beads are not going to fall off on that. Take the ends here and I tie it in, um, I'm going to tie this in an overhand knot. So just like the very first tie, if you're tying your shoes, pull that tight. that once like so okay then what I do is I go back and make a second loop so basically I'm going through again one time and through again two times like that and pull that tight now I'm not just going to pull this tight on the top like that I'm also going to hold my ends and I'm holding the part that goes inside the bracelet and I'm pulling all of it at once like that. That really locks that knot in for me and if you do that you really don't have to use an adhesive unless you really want to. So that side's good. So I'm going to flip this over and do the other side the same way. So first knot is just like tying your shoe. There you go. Just pull that tight. The next one is go around just like you're tying a knot in your shoe, overhand knot, but then go around one more time like that. Pull it tight. That looks good. Then grab the two ends plus the part that goes inside the bracelet. Give it a pull. Don't pull enough to break it. Just give it a nice pull. And there you go. So that should last. Now, if you want to be ultra secure, just put a teeny tiny drop of your beading glue on there. And that's all it takes. Then go back in after that dries and trim off your extra. Very cool. If you like this project and think it's totally rad, then uh, give it a like below. Uh, leave any comments that you like. Uh, I love reading those and I hope you enjoy this project. Now you know.
you'll make something 